Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Welcome to my video today. Today's date, June the 15th, 2020, and I've got a bunch of news for you from uh, Carnival, trying to get uh, another 26,000 uh, crew home. I have news about Virgin Voyages launching a new ship. I have news about where in the world are today's cruise ships. I have TUI group updates and Costa selling a ship. Is it going to scrap or what? Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for giving my videos thumbs ups. Thank you all of you for um, following me on Facebook, on Instagram, and all your support on my Redbubble store. I really appreciate it uh, picking up TWB items like these shirts and other items. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. All right. Where in the world are all the cruise ships? Um, here's an image for you. This is a world map, uh, courtesy of Cruise Mapper, where I'm highlighting where all the Carnival ships are right now. All those dots represent either individual Carnival cruise ships or clusters of ships, like this kind of an image here where... There are so many ships so close together that it just as it appears just as a dot on the map. Carnival right now is trying to get out of their 27 ships, they're trying to get a total of over 46,000 crew members home. They've been able to get uh, 20,000 returned so far. They have 26,000 yet to go. So the ships are in some cases clustered in the, uh, the Caribbean area where they've already... Uh, uh, transferred crew from some ships to other ships and then there are ships clustered in other areas of the planet uh, you can see towards India there are some ships heading that direction uh, you can see towards the far uh, uh, what would be the far right side of this image in Asia there are ships there and then there are ships in the South America region the next image you're gonna see um, Royal Caribbean all these uh, uh, greenish uh, colored um, triangles again Royal Caribbean ships a bunch are clustered in the Caribbean and uh, some overseas then we have uh, Norwegian here in orange same thing they've got one ship in Hawaii the pride of America the rest are either in the Caribbean or some in Europe uh, the next uh, batch will be um, uh, Princess and P&O uh, the two cruise lines this is all these are all uh, carnival brands you can see where they're located then we have in yellow hall in America very few ships in North America they're in Asia offloading people uh, and a couple in Europe then we have in red Costa cruises owned by uh, carnival again Mo most of the ships are in Europe and I have breaking news on one of their ships shortly then I've got celebrity in purple here uh, celebrity has uh, ships sort of scattered all over and in blue I've got uh, MSC here we go blue there we are MSC four ships uh, off of Florida uh, the rest in Europe uh, and scattered throughout a few in South America one in the Mideast then we are going over to all of Carnival ships these are all the Carnival brands so that's Carnival Princess P&O Hall in America Costa Ada Cunard and Seaborn you can see where all of their uh, ships are worldwide right now a lot of them are in effect dropping off crew then I'm gonna bring you all of the Royal Caribbean brands this would be Royal Caribbean Celebrity Silver Sea and Azamara and you can see that uh, that they're all over the world as well taking crew home to Asia to Europe and the rest are in effect docked and waiting um, from there I'm gonna show you a uh, next image Carnival Royal Caribbean and Norwegian brands all combined you can see where, where the, the the big three are with all of their different brands and then I have a highlight here for the uh, Bahamas uh, this is uh, on the left the Carnival cluster of ships and on the right celebrity and Royal Caribbean ships they're just sitting there now uh, waiting out the uh, downturn here in Europe you can see uh, the big brands here where most of them are some in the Italy area Genoa and some in Southampton and and towards uh, the northern Europe there and then this is Asia where you can see the ships for carnival sh uh, in purple or red heading to India you can see the rest of Asia here I'm gonna zoom in now on the Philippines this is just outside uh, Manila there are five ships uh, out at sea and the rest are in the harbor and as we zoom in on the harbor in the in the Philippines in Manila there are 21 ships here right now still offloading crew members as we speak 
tons and tons and tons of them. There are all the ships right there waiting. And you can see a, a satellite image here from a few weeks ago, kind of what this looks like. All of these ships are waiting their turn to offload crew. Uh, I'm not sure if they're able to take 500 or 1,000 crew a day, but there are 40 plus more or more thousand waiting here uh, worldwide over 43,000 crew members are apparently waiting to uh, to get home I don't think that includes these numbers that includes those that are not here um, next picture to show you will be the world map of everybody they, these are the cruise lines and the river cruise lines all together and it looks like one big giant mess in Europe but uh, unfortunately the uh, the dots are a lot bigger <laughs> than in real life <laughs> But you can see where ships are now around the world. Very few are moving. Most are docked and waiting it out like this. They're sitting here waiting for their opportunity to uh, to basically, uh, um, you know, offload their, their, their crews. Um, satellite imagery off the coast of Florida and uh, just clusters of ships everywhere. All right, so that is what's happening with uh, worldwide cruise ships at the moment. Where are they and what are they up to? All right, let's get on to the next story. All right, here's the next story of the day from Costa. Costa Cruise Lines owned by Carnival. Uh, an announcement was made today very quietly. They have sold this ship here, the Costa Victoria, and it's being sold to an Italian shipyard builder. And this probably spells the end of this ship's life as a cruise vessel. Um, Costa Victoria was built in 1996, can handle 2,000 to 2,400 passengers, has 790 crew on board, and the original cost was $390 million. Story goes that uh, it's been sold and it's either going to be scrapped or it's going to be used as a floating hotel while other ships come into the um, shipbuilding yard for dry dock. It's another way to transfer crew off of a ship that's being worked on, put them on a ship as a hotel na right near in the same yard, and then after the work is done, the ship can the crew can transfer back onto the uh, ship that's being worked on and move on. So that's the end of another cruise ship. Here we have a new ship, the total opposite. This is uh, Virgin Voyages. This one is the Valiant Lady, the second ship in the line. And uh, Richard Branson and his group uh, are uh, building and continuing to go ahead to build their four ships. This is the number two of four in, it, in Italy. It has been floated out and is now getting all of its interiors built. It'll be ready for cruising May 2021 if all goes according to plan and it will basically sail uh, in Europe out of Barcelona. It's a sister ship to this ship here. These are, uh, these are uh, images created by uh, Virgin for the uh, original ship they had, the Scarlet Lady. Um, they will, the ship will handle 2,700 and 70 guests, all adults, no children. It's 18 and over. Uh, the first late ship, the Scarlet Lady, right now is off the coast of Florida and won't sail until at least October of this year. It was originally expected to sail in February, then it was supposed to sail in, in August, now postponed till October, and uh, it has not yet had a single paying passenger. So we can't give you a, um, a passenger review on how the ship is doing uh, because there aren't any but we'll keep an eye on it uh, virgin is moving ahead with ship number two the valiant lady all right the next story to talk to you about is uh the company that owns this brand right here mine shift these mine shift cruise ships of which there are now seven uh sail the world uh, when when you're allowed to sail um the company tui group um, I didn't know this, but, uh, you know, every day I do this, I learn something new. This is the largest travel company in the world. Did you know that? Largest leisure tourism travel company in the world, TUI Group. They own 150 aircraft. They own 16 cruise ships, 380 hotels and resorts. Um, and they have announced today that uh, they have canceled all holiday services till the end of July, or is it, sorry, to the 10th of July, pardon me, of this year. Morella Cruises and uh, Mind Schiff, they're not going to be sailing until the end of July into August at the earliest. TUI River Cruises suspended until November of this year. And as I said, uh, Mind Schiff has seven ships. It looks like 
uh, in Europe, there is so much um, diversity going on and, and there is no consistent um, um, story as to, to how Europe is going to bring back business as usual regarding this virus, the recovery from the virus, because the second wave is coming through and there's a lot of uncertainty. Um, this company here, you can imagine, they gather customers from all over Europe and the world, um, co coordinate them into uh, one location. It might be a charter flight from, say, London to a, a resort in the, in the Caribbean. Uh, and then the folks spend a week or two there and then are flown back and then they scatter back to where they've come from. And we could be talking 20 plus countries. Same for these cruises with Mindshift or their river cruises. A TUI is a huge international player in the, cr in the tourism business, which is its downfall right now because there, are, there is no consistent uh, country to country um, rules in place with regard to travel, health checks, testing um and you know the the infection rate and recovery rate i mean it's just all over the map and so tui is just delaying and delaying and delaying the inevitable uh of reopening they had uh, uh 16 they have 1600 different travel agencies across europe think about that 1600 independent travel agencies uh, many of them are in retail locations they can't even open up and some of them are opened up on a partial basis and so TUI is up against it like everybody else. There you go. Um, I hope I haven't bored you today. We are talking cost of selling a ship that might be going for scrap. TUI is postponing its opening. Where in the world are the ships? Virgin has got the second ship going. Carnival trying to get people home. Lots happening today. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for your support. Stay warm, stay safe, stay healthy, stay cool. And we'll talk to you later, everybody. Bye for now.